everybody welcome back to daily daily budgets i'm sarah and thank you if you're a new subscriber and thank you if you're a returning subscriber it really means a great deal to me so how is everybody how was everyone's christmas if you celebrated christmas how was the break if you just had a break um i had a lovely christmas day i got some lego um i got the tiny plant set that i was after so that's one less thing to purchase and i did get some lego vouchers so i'm really really chuffed with that um yeah spent the well spent christmas eve and christmas day with the in-law so my mother-in-law and yes i got a slap for the shopping trolley and then boxing day i spent with my family with my mum and dad brother his fiance and the children so that was a lovely day as well so in today's video i am going to be checking in for december week four so shall we jump straight into it and thank you for all your lovely comments regarding my new purse i love it now i'm not sure i've actually got anything to stuff change wise let's just have a quick look no there's nothing there which is a pound coin or a two pound coin so that will roll over until i start my new change challenge which will be starting in january week one so the next video after this so let's get the envelopes out there we go and let's see what notes or what yeah well it will be what notes we have left to play about with for the end of the month so as always at the end of the month anything that's left in the wallets gets unstuffed and gets reallocated whereas normally the weeks leading up to the last week um, I only reallocate my spending so there's nothing in spending because we put all that into the savings challenge groceries has got 30 pounds fuel has also got 30 pounds and miscellaneous has got 10 pounds so that I would say is not a bad amount of money left over this month so i think this is one of the higher months so we've got 20 30 40 50 60 70 pounds now that is amazing amount absolutely chuffed with that oh and do you like my i thought this was quite apt um i order stickers from the happy cutie studio and with every order you get a little car so that's their website address they are on etsy as well i order all my stickers from this company have done for years and you always get with each order the following month's calendar so this is for january and you always get some sort of inspirational quote or picture on the reverse and i thought this was brilliant especially for us all our budgeters um go at your own pace and it's just cute cause it's a cute little snail so i just thought like whoops just thought i would add that in so let's go into the savings binder I feel like my, I'm very close today to the screen. So let's go straight to challenge one, which is the... So I'm, I'm currently... Let's backtrack. So at the moment, I'm just focusing on the Domino's challenge, challenge two, which is the one to 50, and the wafty wafty challenge. Um, and then I make... If I don't finish these by the new year, I will probably carry them on. Um, and then I might introduce some new challenges come January. So... We said we've got £70, so let's pop. So this needs 35 Let's pop. Let's pop £20 into the Wafty Wafty Challenge. And this is from Esther at My Money Matters. So let's just colour this in quickly. I will just fast forward this for you guys because you don't want to watch me colour. There we go, lovely. So there's that coloured in. And of course, it's the wafty wafty challenge, so we have to wafty wafty it. So there we go, and let's have a count up to see how much I have saved so far. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125. Wonderful, wonderful. So that should leave me with £50, I I believe. And I think I'm going to put that straight into this challenge. 
So I'm going to get my calculator to see if I can work out what I can do. So we should have 50 pounds. 10, 20, whoopsie, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, 50 pounds. So let's have a look. So 50 pounds, if I minus 36, minus 36 and it leaves me with 14. Um, okay, let me see if I've got any change in here that I could potentially use. Oh, saying that, I could, hang on, scrap that. I could do £40 in here. So I'll do the 36 and the 4. Yes, let's do that. Okay, let's cross off the 4 and the 36. So that is... £40, so that leaves with 10 so that's 40 Let me move this up and bring in my box. So I want number four, which is here, and number 36, which is here. So if I pop, what I'll do is I pop 30 in number 36. So I'm not dealing with any coins. So there's 30 gone into 36. And then I'll put the other 10 in number four. And get it in. There we go. So that is those ones done. Seal that up. Bring back down the binder. So yep, so we haven't got, well, yeah, got quite a few more to do, but slowly but surely it's getting there and i keep saying it i'm probably going to condense these small ones onto these big ones but i'll get there i'll get there at some point right so that leaves me with 10 pound left now do i put that in wafty wafty or do i put that in domino saver So Domino Saver is from Jazz at Jasmine's Journey on YouTube and Instagram and Jasmine's Creations over on Etsy. And as I said, this is from Esther at My Money Matters. Let's pop it in Domino Saver. I know I usually use this challenge as my money I save out of my spending money, but let's do a little top up of that. So £10 going in. So three, six nine there we go ten so that's ten pound gone in there and just wafty wafty wonderful so there's that all done and then wow today is not a joke day today is what you would kind of class as a one-liner maybe and it's about food. Now, I don't know if I'm the same as the rest of you, but I have literally not stopped eating since Christmas Eve. So, yeah, here we go. So, I once wrote a song about a tortilla, but it's more of a rap. Do -dum -dum. I'm here all next year. But yes, that's right. So that brings me to the end of my video. Thank you very much for joining me. And also thank you to every single one of you for supporting me throughout this process in 2023 and following along with my journey i really do appreciate every single one of you and with you supporting me it is helping me stay accountable for my budget i've got lots of goals that i'm still working on coming up in 2024 so stay tuned for those and that just leaves me to say i have a very happy new year to you all and i shall see you next time take care guys goodbye